Hey, 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 it's the John and Heather Show coming to all of you. That's right, all of you out there, you live from our production studio. That's right, right here in our beautiful production studio. We are coming to you live. And a good Tuesday evening to everybody out there in Facebook and YouTube land. We love all YouTube of you. Land. We're so happy to That's have you place. joining us. That's where little gnomes live, YouTube land. Right. Hello, Linda. Hey, what's up, girl? How good are you evening, doing? Good evening, Linda Winegate. How are you? All right, everybody. Well... It's Tuesday, and we're very happy to have all of you joining us on oh, yeah. this wonderful Tuesday. It's nice. It's really, I mean, the weather today first started out with a little bit of rain, but then it got, like, freaking stinking hot, and it got, like, I don't know, muggy and, like, crappy out. So, I'm glad it worked. You got to run around and go to the gym because the damn gyms are open now. That's right. We're good, Linda. We're really good, and I'm going to tell you why we're so good, Linda. You know why we're so good? Why are we so good? We are so good because we got to go to Scooter Haven this weekend. Oh That's my God. right. Oh my we God. got to go out and about. The and Scooter we Haven. went to Scooter Haven. Oh my God, that place! They is had a benefit going on for West Coast Florida Riders, mm -hmm. and we got to go and we met so many people yeah. from Fran Hatchlaw Group, from Ride <coughs> Around Magazine, yes. from everywhere. West Eddie Coast, was there. everywhere. Eddie, Eddie was, was there. there. West Coast Florida uh, Riders was, was there. there. Bradley and Fran, the Dale and Cat Show, no. two Indians. Indians, you name it. They so many there. people are they were one of there. our there. biggest so nice. fans, Florence Jane. Oh, yeah. She had to work that night, though, because she also works at Scooter Haven. She does all the short order cooking there. And, and basically, boy, is she a cook. Well, she, she's great. She's great. I mean, if you like a good burger that's, like, handmade right there on the spot, they chuck that dead cow on the grill that comes off a little burnt on the end, a little bit pink in the middle. Oh, it's like orgasmic. It's a foodgasm. That's what I'm going to call that. Yeah, that it is. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, my throat's dry. We had an absolute great time when we went out to Scooter Haven, and guess what? what? There was people. people. Oh my god, people. it was so nice so to see many fucking people. people. I loved oh. it. Finally, we had been like freaking bears in hibernation with this <laughs> Corona nineteen. Thank God I didn't gain one hundred and fifty fucking pounds. <laughs> Be like a tick, I'll roll you out of the door. But. <laughs> We have been up yep. there, and it has been unbelievable. So we finally got to see people. Yeah, and also the bands that were playing there were fabulous. They had uh, Sammy Joe was playing there from Jezebel. Jezebel rocks. Uh, geez, Lawless and Ted was kicking. Oh back. man, that was great. We I had got, some other bands there that were kicking in. And I'm so sorry. Go we're to you, getting names. Yes, and you're gonna be putting that up here real soon. And when she puts it up soon, I got some nice backstage shots with Lawless and Ted. Backstage shots with us. Uh, Sammy, uh, Joe. Sammy Joe and Jezebel, the crowds of people that were there. Oh, Lots it was just of fabulous. people. It was great. It was actually great. It was fantastic. And it was so wonderful to see all of the people. Yes. All of our brothers and sisters all were out in. there. All riding in Brought, except for People me. rode in. Like they drove in. They probably flew in. Canoe. They probably jet skied in. Canoed in. <laughs> But they were there, and the food was great. The beer kept on flowing. Everybody had a good time. Everybody was there representing, and just it was a good time, old-fashioned biker hangout with good people having a great time. That's right. We had a blast, yes, and we wonderful. were so happy to be there and see everybody. It's like things are finally starting to get Back normal, normal. God, normal. I want not the new normal scene. New. I just want. I don't normal. want to see a face mask. No. I am so Unless tired a of the face on, like mask. I go when I go riding, it's cold. Yeah, that's that's cool. But even then, I don't even like seeing them anymore. I understand that some people want to wear them and they feel comfortable in them. And, then do and it. hey, that's your, that's, thing. that's your thing. I'm do not it. hating on no. you. More power if to that you. That makes you feel safer by wearing that. By all means, do so. We will not exactly. judge. Exactly. That's right. We don't judge anybody no. or anything. But at the same time, please don't judge us for not wanting to wear our face mask. Yes. Because we just don't really like them. Um, however, it hey, was, it's hey Ken. Ken Rocks, how, how you, you doing? doing? Buddy? 
How you doing, brother? He's another one of our really good fans. He always likes chiming in anytime we have one. And of we our love shows. you, kid. What do you say? Yeah, glad yeah, the gyms are open. That's yes, what we were just going to say, gym, kid. Buddy. I got to go to the gym. I'm jealous. I and I can working. barely lift my arms up <laughs> twice. Ow. Yeah, but you got to get them guns back. Uh, you got to get them back. Look at that. Look at that. I need to go. I need, uh, to go. I need to go so bad. I feel like a freaking fat ass just sitting around a house. Hey, hey Jeffrey love, Reynolds. Love from Iowa, brother. Hey, he love from Zilla. Citrus County, Florida. Yeah, Citrus County, Florida. Beverly Hills, Where Florida. Men are men and the sheep are scared. That's right. All right, everybody. <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and go on into our intro. Yeah, I heard what he said. <laughs> that's funny. That's funny. Come on. Yeah, you are funny. Uh, Anyways, let's go ahead and go. We'll start this baby off. And let's start off with our intro, everybody. Intro. Hey, 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 hey. It's the John and Adu Show. Coming to you live every Tuesday night at 9 p.m. right here on Facebook. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to our show on YouTube. And always remember, keep it shiny side up, rubber side down. We love you all. That's right, we do. Tuesdays. Everybody, we made it back in one piece. One piece. And I'm sorry if the mic was blaring a little loud. Let me know what's going on. Mm -hmm. We've got a call in. Yes. Okay, now we got to get that off, don't we? Yeah, we got to get that off. She's got to use the the, uh, the the invite thing. Okay, hold on a second. One second, guys. All right. You know what, baby? Go ahead and get that and tell her that she's got to use the link that I sent her. Okay. Go ahead and go off. Okay. Hey, everybody. Hey, We're going to go ahead and take you. this on. Let's see what's going on. Valerie. Love from Iowa. You got to use the link we sent you. Just like she used earlier today. And we got uh, love going on. We got Jeffrey Reynolds in the house. Cornfields okay. and Slipknot. That's what I like to hear. That's for sure. Always got some cornfields okay. and Slipknot okay. going Maybe on. Maybe I take off Bobby Friss. Take off Bobby Friss in the corner. Can you do that? Well, on one second. Oh, no. I'm talking to Heather. Okay, now we're trying to work out a few bugs right now, everybody, right now. Sorry about that. Yes. That's all right. We keep on going. Keep so on going. that's what we got to tell you about where Hell's Machine is at. Yes, it's in the shop right now. That's right. Hell's Machine happens to be in the shop. And wait till we tell you what it's getting. Do I need to send the link? Do you need to send the link to her again? Do you need a link, Dolly? Uh, yeah, please. Yes. Yes, send the link again. That's quite okay. That's quite okay. No, we're just having a few. Hey, John Calico, how are you? Hey guys, great show, man. Johnny C. Rex, drummer for the Syndicate. Wow. That's right, Tracy yes, Parrish. He yes. was great. He was great. And we enjoyed having him on. Thank you so much, John. It was a great show. Let me go ahead and send a link out okay. while John, go ahead and you okay. take over for me, baby. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take over real quick and I want to hand the phone over here. Yeah. All righty, guys. Well, anyway, like we were saying, hey, uh, we have a lot of friend of ours right that were now. out there over at Scooter Haven. We ran into them. We like had such a great earlier. time. The bikes there were great. And the people there were great. The drinks were flowing. And, and it was just an amazing just show by all the bands that were out there. On the link. Now, we're trying this again one more time. Mm -hmm. I just all sent right. it to you. We're getting there. We're getting there. Hey, 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 everybody. 
we're back and live. How about that? Mm -hmm. We've got our guest on the line and we're figuring out how to get these bugs out yes. so we can bring her on live. Yes. Just That's give right. Us a second, brother. Just give us a second. It'll take just a minute. And look who we got. Hi, Florence. We've hey, got how Florence you doing, Jane honey? in the house. How are you doing, She's honey? wearing my flag. Look at that picture right there. Oh, that right is so there. cool. You see that guy? She's in the corner with the flag. You got to take that video off. I think that's the problem. I moved that off there. Move your finger off. It's not the problem. Okay. There we go. Okay. We're going to do one of these. Hey, there we go. And we're going to play with that. Florence Jane, I got your bacon. Yes, we got your bacon. Okay, what else we got going on here? We got everybody telling them. You got to okay. tell them about where your bike's at. Okay, right now I got my bike over at Iron Horse Performance and Parts. Now, I'm telling you right now, I got this bike going Probably. in there. We got a two to one to two headers going on it. And then he's going to put the key chip in it, and he's going to dyno tune out the bike. Hello? When he dyno tunes out my bike, he's going to give me about 105 horsepower, and I just can't wait to be able to get on the seat of this thing because I always wanted my whole life. And guys, you're going to feel me that you always want to have that custom bike that you could take anywhere and you could show it off, but you could also take it and you could ride it somewhere. That is exactly what you want to be able to do. So I didn't want a trailer queen. I was saying this the last time I looked at a bike. No joke. It was at Crystal River Harley, the back wheels and this sucker were this big and it had a dragster rear in it. Now, no joke. It had a 111 fully bored out on that sucker. It was just monstrous. It had drag pipes on it and it was a big wheel. I mean, literally like a 36-footer in the front and these 250s in the back and a dragster wheel. And I'm looking at this bike and I'm like, man, that sucker's cool, but how the hell does it turn? You know, <clears throat> as I'm thinking, big dragster rear end, no limited slip, and the bike's not going to turn like this. So I didn't want some goofy-ass bike like this and want $35,000 for it. $35,000. Did you guys hear that thing. right? Hold on a minute. $35,000. $35, Hey, 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 hey Susan. Oh, Suzanne, so nice to see you. $35,000. Not doing it. There we, we go. go. All, All right. right. We worked out the bugs, woo, people. Woo. Yeah. Party in the house. Okay. Party in the house. Right. Party in the house. That's we right, go. guys. We got okay. a party in, in the, the house. house. And right. you know why we got a party, party in, in the house? house. You tell because us. Because we have got one heck of a special guest for you guys tonight. That's right. We've got Valerie Smith, owner and founder of Rider, Rider Now, Now magazine, magazine and TV. TV. How about now, that? Can you get any damn bigger? I feel like I need maybe a freaking red carpet. Maybe, maybe the Hulk. You would get bigger. Maybe it's because we have red hair, both of us. Yeah, that's when like a guy, that fiery a, red, a red hair is a man's kryptonite. You know that. That is right. <laughs> well, let me bring her on. And this is Valerie Smith from Rider Now Magazine, everybody. There you go. Oh. Now you can see. She found the button. She found the button. Hey, gorgeous. How are you? How are you doing? Uh, uh, can, can I turn it over? Can no, you, you're you're fine right here. You're I see fine, you're fine. Just the way you are right now. You look perfect. Everything's perfect. <laughs> Can't yep. you guys have to see pretty? You are pretty. You Don't even gorgeous. go there. And so what your it? hair. You got the coolest hair. Any woman would die to have hair like yours. Well, I'll get them some. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I love that southern accent, Valerie. Yeah, where are you originally from? Nashville. Nashville. Now I recognize it. Now I recognize it. I was thinking Kentucky, maybe, but yeah, Tennessee, that'll do it. Yeah. Tell, tell, us, tell us about now, you. you and Ryder now. Well, I was with another Tampa Bay magazine and TV show, and I didn't like being told no when I wanted to do something for somebody. <laughs> I figured the only way that I could not have to hear no would be to do it myself. Yeah, that's true. Very so, true. I went ahead and um, launched the magazine over 11 years ago. And it's been very successful. And, you know, we do East Coast, West Coast, and in the middle. You uh, know, 
Well, yeah, coast to coast. Right. And, and it's been hugely successful because all we do is help other people. Wonderful. I mean, you are such a charitable woman. I mean, I don't even know where to begin with the charities that you do. Yes. But I will say one thing I read struck home because it was the exact words that I've used. And I don't know if you know this about John and I, but we also volunteer our time at a food pantry, yeah. which is which is owned by, my by his mother. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah, we we care. Get some food. Yep, it's and we, we Care Food Pantry. We feed approximately 250 families a month. And you had said. Families. In, not your, people, families. in one of your words, you had said something about the fact that you had had to previously use the food pantries in your life. So did you. So did I. When I went through my divorce. So did I. And I was raising my two babies by myself. I worked all morning. On a teacher's salary. Right. We, teachers don't make much. Mm -hmm. We do it because we love them. Mm -hmm. I taught I taught one kid, so I did it. You and know. I was a special ed teacher. God, yeah. we have so much in common. Wow. Well, you know, the funny thing is, though, um, I, as I told Drew Garabo, who interviewed me yesterday, he said, what is it about bikers who seem to want to always help people? And I said, honey, we walk in their shoes. <laughs> Most of the people that we know, we, we live long lives, and we know what it's like to be hungry, you know, and to some of us have been homeless. I mean, I have been homeless, went through an ugly divorce, and, you know, when I worked for the TV show, at one time, I was going to Sarasota back in Tampa, and I was slept in my car in a rest area. And I called my daughter, and I said, Jen, for the first time in my life, I'm homeless. I'm sleeping in my car because I wasn't making enough at that place, you know, to really afford a hotel. She said, Mom, it's a Corvette. Get over it. It ain't the same. <laughs> kind of put me in my place, you know. Well, my boyfriend. Is I like her. her. <laughs> but you know what? It's true. Right. <laughs> I think that, that yeah, I, I worked all day for brothers. my mom to be able to get enough food to do that. I volunteered just so I could bring enough food home so I could feed myself for a while. I know the feeling. Yeah, I think our brothers and sisters, a lot of them have all been through a lot of things, and they all have some really great stories to tell. Yes. And that's what makes us just such an eclectic, interesting group of people. And we're real because we've been there. We're real people, exactly. And most of us have hit rock bottom. A lot of people out there, you know, yeah. other people have not. We have. Well, and right now, with the economy like it is right now, there's really going to be a need for all of us to band together. I can't see. I got to see what I'm We're going to have to all band together to help each other because we're coming out of this corona problem, and there's still people out there with families that are struggling. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I see a lot of events in, in our future. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. I would love to do a lot of events in our yes, future I would because I have no problem being able. Heather and I know how to set up and do all the food line and distribution for a lot of people, knowing where to put everything and how to go around and do all that. I used to drive the trucks to stores around. He drives uh, the big trucks. The big trucks. My mom has a couple of them, and I would take them. I'd drive them to Win Dixie's and Publix that my mother had contracts for because these places found out that weight loss on food. Pays you a dollar sixty something per pound to the government as weight loss. So they give it to us as weight loss, but they pull it off the shelves legally. They freeze it legally. My mother gets it and distributes it that week. We get ten thousand pounds of food. Wow! Feed one hundred and fifty families. That is amazing. That is amazing. That's what we would do every other Saturday morning. That's what we do up early four in the morning. morning get, get up there at four. And set up and go and set up and do that. And so mm -hmm. I was reading that it was the Easter baskets about the Easter the baskets basket. at Scooter Haven. That's where you had said it about the pantries. That's correct. Yeah. And it struck home to me. It did, both of us. Okay. You know, I have a beautiful angel called Glenn Hodge who never tells me no when I say I want to do something. And that Easter, Easter basket thing came out of left field. 
you know, it was right when the corona had hit us. There were people that couldn't pay rent, so you know they couldn't buy chocolate and candy and toys and baskets. Especially a little basket for the kids. Yeah, and, you know, we went up to 30 to Scooter Hills. Yes. And we did 30 in Stanford right there at La Spada. Uh, Kenny Wilkerson on uh, Real Man Radio helped me do those away. And then wow. I went on Facebook and posted for anybody that needed that to please be in touch with me. Wow. I, mean, you, I UPS about 15 baskets. You and did? I, more on the UPS. I, was say, that couldn't have been cheap, especially if they were canned goods and stuff. That's weight. Those things are heavy. Because yeah. I used to have to yeah. carry them to the scales. We had to weigh everything when it came off the truck. Everything. And those yeah. suckers were like 100 pounds. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. I don't want to pay for the price of that. <laughs> no. But, you know, like you, I, I got to move my phone. It's a labor of love. Yeah. No, and it I'll makes me feel good. Right, and I always have said from 15 years ago when I was on the TV show in Tampa Bay, one thing that I always tell people is our real value is not what we own or where we live. It's what we do to help our, our brother. Yes. Exactly. Yes. And it's true. And that one thing John's always said is it's not a handout. It's, it's a, a hand, hand up. up. Exactly. But you know, there's always some people that that don't really need it, but they're going to act like they do. And, you know, you're like, you, know, you can pull those things out. Oh, yeah, they pulled through in a brand new 2020 Cadillacs. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, so Ryder now does a lot, and you do a lot, a lot of charity, a, lot of, a charity. lot of helping out people and other things. What other things are you doing, or what do you have in the works? Well, right now, last month, we launched Writer Now TV, which I'm so tickled to death to have you guys join our crew. I think with you being out on the street, you're doing this anyway. You're filming it for your show anyway. Throw me a couple clips and, and you know, mm -hmm. and let's uh, network and, and let's get the word out there and let people know what we do. That's All right, right, everybody. So now you heard the secrets out. The secrets out. The this secrets is what we're out, everybody. everybody. This is what we've we're been waiting, waiting to for. say. This is our, our hand, virtual handshake that we were waiting for. Yay. And now we are. And you know, I, mean, I don't know if you know about me, but I never make a phone call. I always keep my phone. And I've, I've also went to Cat and Dale and said, look, or Dale and Cat, I'm saying it backwards again. It's the woman in me. I got to put the woman first. <laughs> something to Dale and Cat about. Let us, let all of us hook up for the good of everyone. You know what I'm saying? And because they're all <laughs> different things. We like going out and seeing the crazy people with the crazy bikes and going backstage with the bands and going, ah, he likes going and sitting down and having the radio show and the guests and the interviews and the real person to person. I like ah, going out there and getting stuff done like that. See, that's well, kind of we, all bring, we all bring something different to the table. That's exactly right. That's eclectic. It. Eclectic's the word I was trying to get out. We are right. looking forward to it. Yeah, so as of right now, the John and Heather show does shoot as part of the road crew for Rider, Rider Now, now magazine. magazine. Right. Right. And you know, you're gonna be doing it for your show anyway. And just sharing a couple of uh, clips with us. We'll we'll Facebook, YouTube, you know, we been it. We'll do all we can, you know, to get you out there, and you know, it's really better for all of us. Yes. Oh, thank you. We Please. are looking forward to it. Let's go ahead and see. We've got some fans that are saying hello to you. Yes. Cool. All That's right. Uh, hey, she's hey, one hey. of our top fans. She says, "Hey, hey, hey, hey us. Florence That's Jane, Jane says hello. Florence right. Jane from Scooter Haven. Yes. Our short little Florence Jane. She's like a little big. cutie pie. Oh, she's a firecracker. Oh, look who's hello, there. It's the Dale and Cat Yay. Back Yay. Our now co-workers. Hello. Hey, Cat. There's Cat. One little, two little, Brian three little Remington. Indians. Hey, one little, <laughs> I've got one little Indians. Indian right there. Brian hey. Remington from Two Indians. That's right. How you doing, Brian? Hey, shout out. Much love, brother. Thank you. Especially excited about the know. new partnership. Yeah. Not as excited as we Man, are. I don't know how you rode a thousand miles in 24 hours and your butt didn't just fall off. Yeah, he did the iron butt challenge, Miss Valerie. 
And I don't know how. Hey, look, as Brian when he said, hi, they're excited about the new partnership. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you. Can you see that? Uh -huh. There we go. Can you see what that says? It's, it's over. It's there we, we are our brother's keeper. Yes, yes we, we are. are. We don't call 911. There you go. <laughs> Brian Remington in the house. That's right, 1,500 miles. He did 1,500 miles. miles. That was the other one. He did there's an, there's an Iron Butt Challenge that's 1,000 miles in 24 hours. He told me this is 1,500 miles in 24 hours. I don't know what the name of it is, but you have to average 62 miles an hour, he was telling me, to complete that run in the right that's amount right. of time. That is like, you know, Burt Reynolds Hooper shit. All right. Whoa. Go. Anyways, we're okay. gonna go ahead now. You want to show the body first video? Hey, we're show body first video. We got a body first video. If you'd like to see it, wonderful. All right, let me go ahead and put that on. You get should have it loaded up right there. I'm in that video. Oh yeah. Oh my God. Let's see. Oh man. Oh 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 Sorry, guys. What? There we go. That one. Is it that one? You guys want me to hang up? There we go. There we go. <laughs> Here we are, I never saw it coming, but all the kids. Yeah, wow, in the crowd. Hiding out in the tiny little places. I love Bobby. Oh, yeah. You know, the Sing every song and love and the good times they gonna come again. Hey, you are <laughs> California sunshine <laughs> coming round. Oh, the a lot of yes, I'm on my way. Uh, it's time to fill your glass. Goodbye. Yesterday, because this too shall pass. Close your eyes, it's all right. I'm with you in this fight. Look inside, you will find a little piece of life. I remember laughing not so long ago, walking hand in hand, with the social distance of an enemy, tell me where to stand, in a state of constant confusion, should I stay or go, reaching for an imaginary finish line, a marathon I know, yes I'm on my way, it's time to fill your glass. <laughs> Goodbye, yesterday, because this too shall pass. Close your eyes, it's alright. I'm with you in this fight. You will find a little piece of life looking in the sky. Love can take us higher to a world we never see.
watch it. Yeah. Great. Keep the faith. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> I like that. I like that. All right. And guys, you can see the interview that I did with Bobby on We Being Down. Wrong one. You know, he was on my phone. Too. Yeah, I know. We want to get into that. There we go. <laughs> you can see the interview. And, you know, he's really torn up about what's going on. You know, he's really broke up about it. And, you know, he misses being out there. I mean, he usually goes to Leesburg, and that's not happening. November. November is Leesburg. Yeah, what I heard. Yeah, but he's very yeah, big on charity too. Yes, he is. That's yeah. what you two do. He does the um, Children's Miracle Network, right? Yeah, Children's Home Network. Home, children's it. Home Network. Okay. He volunteered some time during Fifty Legs too. Yeah, and then he during volunteered 50, time at the Fifty, 50 Legs because he went up there. He played that blue guitar somebody brought in for him. Yeah, yeah. and that it was a huge success. Oh yeah. Steve Yes, that's yes, a wonderful we were there. And you were there. That was a fun mm -hmm. event. Yes, and you had him on your show also. That's right. He was my second. I had Kenny Wilkerson first. I mean, and we go in the studio tomorrow, and we're having everywhere on the show. Oh, okay. And we ran into him. Him too. He's everywhere. We ran into him also. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like his name says. <laughs> he was everywhere. He just joined our crew too. So oh, he's part cool. of the road crew. Oh, we'll be with yeah. him. Well, so we around. all work together. Yeah. yeah. We all know each other too, which is pretty cool. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And we like each other. Yeah, that's which what that is helps. Even better. Yeah, that helps when you kind of like somebody. Because <laughs> we really do. That's cool. We've known Eddie for. I've known him for about four years. You've known him for four years, and I've known him at least 10. Yeah. Yeah, I think I met him when I first came to this event. We yeah. had a. At Baba Lou's, and he used to come down to the bike ride. Mm -hmm. I met him right after you. Said. Sorry, so that's neat. No, that she he, met him right after you. Yeah, because mm -hmm. I came here in 05. Yeah, we know a lot of the same people, girl. I'm telling you, and we have a lot of the same interests. Um, it yes. must be the red hair. Go horseback there you go. And as long as we clear his hair color, I'll be there. Exactly. God plus hair color. Yeah, you're my redheaded squirrel. And the fact that my <laughs> daughter's a cosmetologist. Yes. One of, one of our daughters is a cosmetologist, and she does That's her real. hair. Look, look how good she did mine. There you go. <laughs> I saw you think on Facebook that you went to the gym. You know, I've been watching it. You know, you turn on in the morning. I haven't got out of bed yet to exercise to it. But I'm watching them walk and do stretches and yoga and all kinds of stuff. Oh, yeah. I know. My yeah. mom, my daughter was, she joined us this morning. She joined me. And that's the first old. time oh, and the only old. time. Oh, she's yeah. oh, And she decided oh, that she went. She did. She gave it a shot. And she decided <laughs> it was not for her. But she doesn't like exercise. Really, you didn't tell me what she was going to think about it. She doesn't like the outdoors. Oh, yeah. She's 20, and she like, much prefer. I think it's that generation to yeah, be inside. Outside. She's good genes. She's probably a little tiny baby like you. I come from a long line of fat girls. <laughs> well, then, she, you haven't grown into your pants yet. The, I, I, I got to grow into my pants. <laughs> Well, that's what I tell people when they ask me how I put on so much weight. I just tell them I grew into my boobs. I don't. I don't know. I was just gonna say I don't know where you think you're putting it because you are beautiful and you just don't have it. Hey, you didn't know me two years ago. Well, that's like so John. I'm, I'm oh, just. I'm just I'm aging gracefully. <laughs> I, well, you are. Um, mm -hmm. I'll tell you like me. I used to be a heavy man. I used to weigh oh just about three hundred pounds. Wow. Yes, and then I went to the gym. Both of us started working out together. You put weight on, I took weight off. And between yeah. the two of us, we basically lost and gained a person. It's something. But, yeah. I mean, but I'm almost 50, and I feel really good, and she's 51. You know, and for 51, this woman is in the shape of a 25-year-old and will knock her out, put her I Yes, you will. Oh, thank you. I love oh. you. And I well, we have another video we wanted to show from another group that we know that is somebody that is um, a band that also is pretty big on charity and helping out, and that would be Big Engine. Wonderful, my Big Engine, sure. Yes. 
So I thought we could go and play, go ahead and play a big engine video. Oh, I love these guys; they're great. They're so nice too. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, oh it's M ninety nine. Whoops! Oh, wrong man. Oh, no. Sorry. Sorry. Hold on. <laughs> That's also another great band. Just FYI, the name of that band is M ninety nine. And that band comes out of Ocala, and they are just fabulous. It's a bunch of young kids. It's a real unique voice. And they also just got signed, by the way, and they're cutting their first album. I'm not sure quite what the name of the album company is, but they're in the studio right now. And they're also recording a lot of the music that they have. Yeah, they're very good. We like them a lot. You going to be able to pull it up, baby? No, I'm not going right. to be able to pull it up. And don't worry about it. Just go back to where we were. That's the next one right there. Click. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to be able to pull it up. There Here we, we are. are. All right. I'm not going to be able to pull that one up. We tried. We had M99 loaded in the slot by accident. So what are we going to talk about now? Okay. Well, let's talk about what's going on with you and everything and uh, all Scooter Haven and all future, future events. events. We've you got about the future Blackfoot events. and um, Drop Shot coming up. It's going to be the first responders event, May um, August, August 6th, August. 7th, and 8th. Or 7th, 8th, and 9th. 7th, 8th, and 9th. There That's we go. It. August 7th, 8th, and 9th See, out at Scooter Haven. Brain cells. We rattle together to get it right. uh, First responders event. Yes. To benefit the first responders. And just to support everything that they do because these are first line people. I'm one of them myself, and I know what it's like to be able to put on a mask and go and go do go do a COVID swab. I've done mm -hmm. many, you know, and it's 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 a scary process if you think about it. But it's not like any other thing, like if I have to take care of a person that has HIV or a person with hepatitis. When I take care of a person that's COVID positive, I basically look at them the same way as any other disease. I just treat it just like I have to be more precautious. And you treat these person people with the same respect you treat anybody else because these Definitely. are people locked up in their rooms that can't see anybody. Just for me to go in a room, I got to mm -hmm. sign in and sign out. I leave the building. They got to scan my temperature. I got to have my mask on all the way through the building. I got to put on a bouffant hat. With this, <laughs> and booties on my shoes, you know. You must look pretty cute. Yeah, I know, but I am going to say that I am a first line responder, and I appreciate everything that's going to be happening coming up here at at the event. Yeah, and I just what you're doing, I just think is fabulous because as one myself, I want to say uh, thank you to you. And we have other events that are coming up. I know this week at um, we've got. A Rosie the Riveter. Oh, the bike ride on a bike May 31st. ride first. Rosie the Riveter bike Ooh. ride. And that's um gonna be that's through uh Stilettos um, on Steel. Stilettos, Stilettos on, on steel. steel. It's through actually Robin Hawk. Yes, Robin from Hawk. Uncaged Life. And she was a guest on our show last week. And Great. she's really big into women's empowerment and yes. bringing women into the motorcycles. And she's learning how to fix her motorcycles yeah, she's just by a show teaching on herself. Yes, she watched YouTube videos to learn how to do it herself or got with other people, learn how to do it. Now she has her own channel where she can teach women that really don't know how to do a lot of motorcycle work, how to wrench simple things on their Harley. So if they break down, they can fix it themselves. And she's got I that a wonderful idea. Well, and I have a movie. Yeah, she's pretty cool. I like her a lot. She's a really neat person. Plus, she's an assistant principal by yeah, day. That's a fun wow. job. I said, where do you get the energy for all of this? Is there like a clone of you running around and showing up at events and you go to work? Yeah. She she's, said, no, man, she's, she's that hyper. She's very energetic. She's a real go-getter, too. And she rides her own bike, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Two. She's done, she's done a, a big chopper now, also. Wow, you know what? I just dropped mine. I just dropped it. I got to where I just went out to the garage and kicked it over. Because really? I knew when I got on it, I was going to drop it. So it happens. Everybody drops a bike. You have to drop it. You your bike. yours over. I'm a good backwards. Wow. Not, because... not every woman can ride. And yeah. those of us that those of us that cannot ride need to be on the back and let the man haul us around. Well, let me tell you, I used to ride. Mm -hmm. I used to ride yeah. my own, and I used to race Sport enduros. Bikes. Bikes but enduros. I had a very bad accident. Yeah. And in that accident, as a lot of people know, I had some head trauma. Right. 
because of the trauma, I made that conscious decision not to ride motorcycles. I can't make those split second decisions that you right. need. Yeah. And Instead, I'm a squirrel. I'm like yeah, that's ADD, her name. Are HD they, everywhere. That's where she gets the name squirrel That's from. why they call me and squirrel. Well, you're happy on the back seat. You and know? I love the back seat. Really? That's my kingdom. Just that is my gliding, kingdom. I'm nervous. I am like a cat on a screen door when I'm driving passenger mm -hmm. with her. I could not imagine her on two wheels and me watching her. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to be more nervous than you would. That's the truth. So I love my back seat. And I really, that's one thing I had mentioned to Amy and about when she was talking about stilettos on steel and women's empowerment. I said I wanted to bring awareness to us back seaters because. Mm -hmm. We provide a support system to that rider. We give them navigation. We she give does. them drinks and refreshments. I'll try to be a chip stuck in the side of my mouth like this. I start munching on. The second I get done going, I got water in the other side like this. And they're turning back. They're feeding me, feeding yourself. You know, like when you have kids and you got to get the potato chips out of the seat. I had to do that in a Harley, like right through here between the <laughs> seat, pull potato chips out between it because of this one. Like I call her squirrel. You want to know why I call her squirrel? What does the squirrel do? It runs around and eats constantly. Her, she's hyper metabolic. This woman eats I like a eat fat like chick. A I mean, it's, it's like living with two, uh, three of her with the amount you eat. She'll get done with this. Go get. I'll get a bowl of ice cream. Nothing, and she's like, oh, I, I, I'm losing weight. Yeah. But I think so that jealous, that's important. So, so I feel the same jealous. way you do. Backseaters are important. So let's hear it for our backseaters. Yes. Well, it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt to know how to ride. You know, if you might be in a situation where you need to help the old man, but at the same time, you know, I have no balance anymore now that I'm thirty nine, and so you know, I give that up. I give it up. Good for you. I agree with you. I'm on the same page. We're there, Valerie. And yeah. I've had a great time having you with us on our show tonight. Yes. It has been fantastic. fantastic. And I'm so happy that we got to finally announce yes. to the public. Yes, everybody, we are working with Valerie and my <laughs> magazine. Let's hear mm -hmm. it. So you do the cabbage patch. The cabbage patch. Here we go. There we go. There we go. Mm -hmm. You guys got to send me a headshot and we'll get you a media pass and you go forward and be hugely successful. All right. All right. Here we got so some fun. more. Oh, more fans? Connie Lacey says hi, oh. Val. Bye. Hey, Connie's there. <laughs> hey, Connie. She says hello. Oh. She's going to be in the show with me tomorrow. That'll what? air on Saturday. Okay. Right. We'll got to yeah, watch that. Thank you, guys. I love you. Turn me off now. All right, we love you and thank you, Valerie, so much. Good. 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 Take care. Thanks for your Bye, Valerie. Bye, bye bye. Thank you so much. All right, everybody, that was Valerie from Rider Now, oh, Valerie magazine. Smith from Rider Now Magazine and TV. And as you heard it live, we've Mama been John keeping it show. a surprise. Even though we've had some snafus and glitches tonight, I think everybody's bared with us. Not only had this pretty funky with the fingers and could figure it out. But today, it happens. You're going to have our good days. We'll have our bad days. But today is a great day, and I don't care if we have some snafus and glitches because I'm happy. We just wanted to let all of you guys know the new news is, that's right, we now work with Rider Now, now Magazine, Magazine and TV. TV. Our and videos Jeremy. and our photography. Yes. Thank well, you, it's going. John. Thank you very much. Your photography skills and your video skills. I think I'm doing pretty well because I'm self-taught. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I'm self-taught, and I shoot on an iPhone. I really think, and this is no joke, that I just may go out on uh, Connie Blue or Kisses. Just might go out and uh, get an actual one of those fancy cameras. I've been really reluctant to get one because I like my iPhone. It stores a lot of information. I can put a lot of information on it. It holds on to my gimbal. I can run around with it, not trip over shit. And I'm not, <laughs> it's a trip. Well, look shit. at you at Scooter Haven. There's so Scooter Haven is yeah, like in the woods. Rough. So there's going to be roots. There's going to be stumps because it's a campground. I tripped left and right. Let me tell you. She got made if somebody right just you. kept a video of how many times Heather almost ate shit. <laughs> It would have been hysterical. 
No, if I had the night vision strapped it on your forehead, like I keep on saying that you need to have squirrel vision, you put the camera on your forehead and you run around and we'll take that. We'll just play it back at like tw two times the speed and it'll call it squirrel vision. Yeah, it, it was terrible. It really was. It was, it wasn't good. No, it wasn't. And uh, it was pretty funny. We had a good time though, yeah. like we said, but yeah, uh, We'll have to come up with some ideas for that. Definitely yeah. come up with some ideas. Yeah, for I think that. so too. And you gotta watch us now on um Rider Now uh, TV, Rider Now uh, magazine. magazine. You're gonna see yes. our stuff yeah, in we'll... Rider Now magazine and TV. Sponsored by Fran Hash. We are so excited, everybody. Yes, we are, because this is just a really fine opportunity for us and we're hard working. And it's people. also happening for our friends, the Dale and Cat gotcha. Show. Yay! Yeah. So not only are we doing it, yeah. but they They're are too. too. The Dale and Cat Show are also yes. going to be working with us. So we're friends, but we also get to work together. That's true. How cool is that? It's nice that way too. You know, because we, we just have a lot of similarities also. We do. Now their show is different than ours. Uh -huh. We bring different things to the table. We're not going to change. They're going to be them. We're, we're going to be us. us. But they cover their area, and so, we know, cover our a area. Bigger, bigger picture of what's going on, you know. So with the bigger picture, then you can do it. Woo! -hoo! Yeah, Florence. Uh, thanks, Florence. We appreciate it. We appreciate it so much. Thank and you, yes, girl. Florence, I'll be around tomorrow. I know you asked me if I'm off tomorrow. I'm around tomorrow. Um, I know we got to pick up the bike tomorrow. Oh yeah, because we're gonna go and get the Harley. We're gonna go get the Harley. We're gonna go get Hell's Machine. And I get to finally bring that damn thing home, all Hopefully. dressed up with the pipes, like I was talking about, the two and one headers, and all this shit. I keep on saying, I keep on saying it over and over again. I love my bike. I want to get it back. Yes, we you miss ever really Hell's miss machine. it? I walked into the garage, and that's where I keep it's my so Harley. It's so empty. Empty, empty. It's just that's its home. It lives there, and it's like I see it. It's like it's like a there. third bedroom to our house. Yes, it is. That's the garage. Of a garage. Mm -hmm. And we miss it. Yes, we do. She's off at 10. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yay, Florence. Give me a call. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, I'm free. <laughs> hey, everybody. I didn't mean that I'm free, but you know what I mean. No, you ain't free. You're mine. That's right. Mine. Aw. Thank you, All baby. Right, so what do we have coming up? We have a lot of things coming up. Well, we had the big news that we yes, were talking about. That's the whole reason We've why. We've got Twisted Minds Inc. playing at Harley Davidson. Um, I believe if you would just hand me my blue book blue, right there. Blue book. Blue, blue book. book. Sorry. Blue book. Blue book. Yeah, blue book. Ah. You can show everybody our lovely magazine that we Here work we go. for. All right. She was able to bring it up, but uh, we didn't have the magazine available. But here's the magazine right here. This is this month's right here. And we should be in next month's, hopefully. There you go. Whoops, sorry. I just grabbed it off the table because she had it right up there. Hey, you're lucky I'm wearing pants tonight. Put it to you that That's way. right. We're lucky you got pants on. <laughs> so I figured out. I know my own house. That's right. So you here. see everybody? I, I really don't need to wear pants. Rider Now Magazine, that's where we're going to be taking our pictures are going to be in there. Our videos are going to be in there, along with the Dale and Cat show. So we are so excited. Yes. But we have Twisted Mind Inc. on uh, the 30th. They'll be uh, playing at Crystal River Harley-Davidson on the 30th. <laughs> you said you're both free tomorrow. Yes, we are. <laughs> you go, Florence Jane. Then we have on the 31st, the big ride, the Rosie the Rivet ride. Yes, we um, mentioned that before. This is about female uh, women yeah. getting along and female empowerment, lifting themselves up, and just not being catty. Exactly. That, you know what? I love that. that. And, and Robin Hawk, was, she was a great guest when we had her on. And uh, it's her ride that she's doing along with the letters on steel. Krista so Grata Saxon is going to be yep. a guest there. Yeah, we interviewed she's her, too. She's a former star. A, uh, I mean, of, she uh, is Nation's a star, Fire. former Nation's guest. Fire. Yeah, former guest, and she's the uh, star actress in Nation's Fire. That movie is now on Amazon Prime, where you can rent it and or you can buy it at Walmart, and you can get the uh, movie there. And that was also filmed at Scooter Haven. Again, God, we keep on going right back to Scooter Haven. We live there. We live there. We yeah. love Scooter we Haven. We love it. The place is just wonderful. I mean, when you go there, it just feels like home. Sometimes you ever go someplace to hang out, like it's, whether it's your favorite bar, 
your favorite restaurant or whatnot. Hey, Robin. Hey, speaking of Robin oh, Hall, look who it is. There Robin she Hall. is, an uncaged life. Yes, she there is. There she is, lady. How you doing? Oh, you're so sweet too. We yes, miss you. you. We had you a were. really good time with you. We really did. We did. You were a great guest. We had a great time, and we're just talking about your ride yeah. on the 31st. John and I will be there. Yes, we're going to really, um, really try to, and you'll see the new bike. Yeah, you're going to see the bike and see what we did to it. That's true. I'll be at Haven uh, Thursday, Thursday and through. Sunday. I'm going to be there for that event. That's great. All right. Yay. Oh, oh thank, thank you. you. That's so sweet. Thank you, Robin. Uh, so we had to leave early. Yelly Askew Haven was also awesome. That's yes, no it problem, was. Brian. Yes, hey, it was. we understand. No worries. We were just so happy to finally see you guys in yes. person. Yes, it was. And it was fun for me to see Barbara's bike. I really like Barbara's bike. Yeah, you like way. it that she rode a big bike. That's yeah, she, something little, I little like little it when a woman rides a big bike. Yeah, she's like a 111. A big, on that beefy bike. Yes. I like that. There's nothing sexy. Living That's on right, cage. Robin. Living on cage. That's right. Uncaged Life. Look that up on YouTube. Yes. And also on your uh, Facebook, yep. Robin Hawk and Uncaged Life. And you can see any more rides that she may have planned. Oh that's my right, because it's so exciting for the ride on the 31st. So yeah, yes, it is. Oh, thank you so much. And, yeah, and I can't wait, too, because I've been waiting now for almost a week and a half, and we've been saving these parts for damn near a year. We're excited. And it's going to be a lot of money tomorrow. That's really going to be hurting coming out of my fingers because i got to pay a lot of money. But it should be worth it because that bike's going to be so sweet. Well, we didn't get to see your bike. That's right, Brian. I'm yes. sorry we didn't see your bike. I've seen it on the show. Yeah, I've seen it on the show. But we haven't seen your bike. No, he uh, didn't get his bike. No, I'm yet. getting it back tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm getting it back. Today's our Tuesday uh, show. I work today. Ran home. We're filming the show tonight. And then tomorrow morning, we're going to go to gym. Thank you, Jesus. I gym can go tomorrow work morning out. again. Yay. Yes. And then I'm going to be going and getting the Harley. And I'm probably going to spend the rest of the day on it. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right, Robin. I saw oh. your video where you put your handlebars on. That's a hell of a, a video. Do you know that even the custom bikes, because I took a look at some really cool apes, and they go up and then back down. So they're they're not high. They're like a little bit higher, but they go up like this. There's spider webs on the inside. $600 to put those handlebars on the bike with labor, because it's labor intensive. So we, you did hours. a hell of a job, Robin. Yeah, you did, because it's 600 bucks to have somebody else do them. The handlebars were 300 and it was 300 in labor to put it on. Congratulations. Yes. Yeah, you the were back in the gym, too. That's yeah, right. the way to go. It's just labor intensive. Everything has to come off. It's just like I when my uh, Hell's Machine one when the frame cracked on it. Yeah. I was like, "Well, change the frame," and they looked at me like their heads were going to explode. <laughs> yeah. I didn't really realize what's involved in basically taking the bones you can't out of like a person. The frame. And change, yeah. yeah, exactly. If you could, I would have spinal surgery done again, and I would have a new spine put yeah, in. Donated spine. Wow. Yeah. Yep. Yes. Thank you. It was, it was so hard. hard. I bet it was yes. hard. And she's right. Six hundred. Wow, to six hundred dollars. The handlebars were only a uh, less than half the price. The rest of it was labor just to put it on. Yeah. And that's just expensive, you know. It's and not I really. Easy. Now I was going to learn how to do a lot of this with with a good friend of mine, Gary, <laughs> that lives right across the street from her mother. Yeah. Robin Hawk takes a long time. Oh, she don't. No, she don't. She does everything right. Yep. <laughs> No, she don't. No, she don't. I'm going to sit in a chair. I'm going to have a little cheerleader. No, mm -hmm. she don't. No, she. I'll be. No, he's her. saying it takes a long time. Oh, I thought she said, no, it doesn't take no. a long time. Oh, I'm sorry, Brian. I just misunderstood the hell out of you, man. Yeah, I was over here going, that don't take that long time. It was hard. Okay. Yeah, it was hard. No, it does. It's really, it's a super lame. It's sorry, Brian. I'm More power super. to it. I love the fact that you are doing this, Robin. I you kick ass. Yeah, Let Robin, me tell I can you. Brian can do it. Go, lady, go. I can't do it. I can honestly say I couldn't do it. I could probably figure it out, but it'd take me a week and a half. Yeah, like John says, if the bike fails or something goes wrong with the bike, you don't really want John to be there. But if your heart stops, you want John next to you. Yeah, if your heart breaks, I call <laughs> you. If your heart stops beating, you want me standing next to you. That's that's kind of how it goes. <laughs> yeah, that's kind that's kind of how it is, you know. So I don't fix plumbing. I don't do electrical work because I'm fucking afraid to play with electricity because I'm more worried about turning it back on. 
<laughs> oh, you're welcome, Robert. I'm more worried about taking that power and turning it back on. Just like if I re rewired the bike, like Brian was saying, you know, you can rewire it and everything else. He's done that. But I would be afraid right off the bat to do the last kick of it and turn it on. It's like I can just see sparks flying out. <laughs> I can see sparks flying out of the side, me getting my warranty out. Yeah. <laughs> Which so, is void now that I took it to the pro shop. You know that. Yeah, exactly. Now that we've had it dyno chipped. John, yeah, because we had the motor chip. It's and everything. void. The warranty is void. Well, we didn't go inside the guts of the motor, though. Oh, so don't say anything. Yeah, we don't say anything. We didn't go in the guts of the engine. That's all. a question. Would that make the warranty void? Putting on headers and dyno tuning the bike. Does, does that, that make void a void? warranty? Anybody know? Because you didn't tinker with the motor, but you made it a lot higher performance. Brian, do you know the answer to that question? Brian, he probably does. Yeah, I bet you Brian does, because Brian knows everything. Do you know that answer, Brian? I'm waiting. Well, waiting, Brian. No, no pressure. No pressure. Do, 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 okay. Do, no, he doesn't. He doesn't know. Okay. See, I told you he would know everything. Yes. That's why it's one little, two does little that Indians. Oh. Does Thank that boy. Thank you, Brian. Thank, Thank you, you, Brian. Thank you because Brian I'm still paying. Everything. Well, the problem was is that I was I'm still paying on this warranty from two Indians. Check them out yes. on YouTube and Facebook. Yes, definitely check them out. Great show, a bunch of hard riding people. Really, they, really. That's I mean, why I he's ride. Got an iron butt. I mean, I ride, but this this is a hard riding individual. It's like changing tires every month because you wear them out type right. Yeah, ride. and Barbara, she's a hard oh, yeah, rider right behind too. Him. Exactly. I them. love her Actually bike. In front of them, probably. I loved her beautiful, big ass bike. Yeah, you, you just go, like Barbara. That. And there is nothing sexier than a woman on a motorcycle, and that's said by all mature men everywhere. Exactly. Nothing sexier than a woman on a motorcycle. And we are sexy women, yes, and are. that's sexy women in the back seat too. Bang! You baby. do nothing but make me look better. Thank you. Exactly. She's that good looking. Thank you. I, just I appreciate it. I keep just sit there and keep smile. it coming, baby. Just yes, keep I'm gonna it keep coming. the compliments flowing. Oh yes. Well, so does not avoid. Yeah, ah. <laughs> yeah. When it's, when it's past warranty, like ah, screw it. I'm gonna throw heads on this big. Why not? You know. Exactly. Put a V8 on. Is that gonna avoid the warranty? Let's <laughs> see what happens. You know, when you have the same motor on the bike. <laughs> What's wrong with my engine? Well, that's an S and S motor, not an Harley motor. So uh, what the fuck? That'd be funny as hell. It was that a manufacturer? What do you say? You know, that's true. He did. Let's see. The manufacturer would have to prove that any the changes, changes you've made to the bike, bike caused the failure. Thank and you, Brian. Gonna, and yeah, exactly. And they're not going to want to prove that because that takes time, effort, and money. So they're just try cheaper to pay you out. Yeah. But I also got that extended. Not only that, but you need to get that little insurance thing. I got that one on the last bike that when I when I went down on the last bike and the frame broke. The bike itself is basically okay, but the parts alone, they wanted $12,000 in parts. They put it together on a bike I paid $10,500 on. Wow. So we were upset about that, but I insured I remember the bike. That yes, but I insured the bike for $3,000 over because it, I had an accessory clause on my insurance, which is something that smart guys, it doesn't cost a whole lot more. Not much, and it's Not worth much. it. It's worth it. Put the accessories clause on there. And any bike, you got a Harley, you could you can make up $3,000 in accessories on a Harley in three seconds. That's this, that, bing, bing, that, this. bing, you're done. You know, it, literally. And, you know, when that bike went down, they paid me out thirteen thousand dollars for a bike I paid ten thousand for ten five by the time I got out of the showroom. So I actually we made a profit okay. on crashing my bike. Now I just got skinned up a little bit and lost my ego and pride for a little while, but I do that for, for a new long while. while. But I do that for new Harley every year too. I just, just shake off the, the bruises. I think I still got a scar on my arm somewhere from it. And, okay, see, I have to go backwards. It's over here somewhere. It's right here is where it's scarred, right? Or is it this one? You know, it was so long ago, I can't remember, but I'll tell you right now, I know it hurt like hell. Yeah, it did, and his ego really was bruised. Yeah, because I did it right in front of my mother-in-law. It sucks, yeah. Because of my mother-in-law. Because of her. But because that's a whole nother story. Maybe next week we'll get into that. I, th I think we're going to have to be wrapping this up here in just a few yeah. seconds. Or so, but I'm telling you, next week we're going to go ahead and we're going to... Maybe I'll go into that story about me dropping a bike right in front of the house and breaking the frame because I dropped it that hard. Next week, we have our guest, our special guest next week, Jason Taylor. Yes. And Jason Taylor is going to be a really unique person to talk to. Monster trucks. Monster trucks he's involved with. He's involved with putting on Blackfoot and Dropbox. 
Yes, and all the big names. And a drop shot. Drop shot. That's it. Sorry. Yes. And why I'm, I'm thinking Dropbox because I'm thinking email. Drop <laughs> shot. Too much work What's today. What's a monster truck? Does not suck any. Okay, no, go up one. Oh. If the dealer does not, the manufacturer would have to prove any changes. Okay, we got that. We one. got that. Okay. Next one. If the dealer does not work. Okay. Thank you, Brian. Thank you. Yeah, no. that does suck, doesn't it, Robin? Yeah. I would say so. Yep, and right now, I think we're about ready to have to cut it out of here. Our hour is up. and we I'm enjoyed, ready for dinner. Yes, we enjoyed company. We enjoyed our guest. Um, We've Alan had so guest. much fun we with had a all great of time. you guys. Sorry again to our fans for a few technical difficulties there along the way. But, you know, life happens, and it's a live show. So on a live show, you just got to kind of bear with it. And we're so and excited with it. that all of you guys got to hear our special news. We even told micro gnomes. Our micro micro gnomes. Yeah, these are gonna be a little mascots. We decided that when we go somewhere, we're gonna bring our little mascots. Hi, uh, love you, Florence. Love you, Florence. We're gonna bring out like our traveling gnomes. Well, we have these right here. Okay, I'll put that. Good night, kids. Good night, Good Brian. Night, kid. Thank you. Good night. But anyways, we're so excited. That's right. Yes, we are going to be working with Rider Now, now magazine. magazine. We are MTV. part of their part of their film crew, part of their family media crew, part of their family, along with Fran Hash, the Dale and Cat Show, Dale and Cat everywhere Show, Eddie, everywhere Eddie, and you know we're just gonna have a good time. You know, That's right. Greeting and not seating, but. It Please. just means more uh, for you guys, more content, yes, more stuff it, that it, we can it. get out to do and bring to you. Yes. So please like and subscribe. Smash that subscribe Smash button. It. Smash it. Whoa. Okay. All right, John. Not could you you just don't realize your power, do you? Sorry. All right, John. Whoa. <laughs> well, anyway, smash that button. You also want to go ahead and like and subscribe to our show. And please hit the bell in the corner. Don't hit anything, John. Don't ding. touch anything, John. Ding. Ding. Yeah, ding. Hit the bell in the corner for any notifications, and we want to say we love you all. Yes, we do. We love you, and we love the fact that we had a great guest right. today. Thank you, Valerie Smith. Yeah. It was wonderful having you on today. You were so much fun. Yes. And you know what us redheads think alike. And you're every man's kryptonite. That's right. <laughs> all right, guys. Shiny side up. Rubber side down. We love you all. That's right. Deuces. Fuck